before watching the video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscribe button below and clicking the bell icon to be notified whenever we publish a new video. Home Remedies presents What happens to your body and brain if you don't get sleep? Hi friends, today's topic is significantly important and if we try to develop the habits prescribed in the video, we can save our body and brain from much damage. So stay tuned and let's start. Unfortunately, we often overlook the importance of a regular sound sleep and its lack drastically reduces the quality of life. Even though you are constantly trying to fix your health and life, if you do not optimize your sleep, you are wasting your time. Your body needs sleep just as it needs air and food to function at its best. During sleep, your body heals itself and restores its chemical balance. Your brain forges new connections and helps memory retention. Sleep is essential in order to detoxify the body and boost the function of the brain, improve alertness and strengthen the immune system. According to experts, we should get from 7 to 9 hours sleep every night. However, if you are consistently getting less amount of sleep than this, you will start experiencing symptoms of sleep deprivation such as weight gain, chronic fatigue, weak immune system, feeling dizzy or cranky, troubles concentrating and completing tasks. Chronic sleep deprivation destroys the mind and body, leading to metabolic syndrome, a condition caused by chronic inflammation in the body and it is the root cause of heart disease, weight gain, obesity and insulin resistance leading to diabetes. Hormonal imbalances due to a lack of sleep lead to anxiety and depression as well. According to Stacy M. Peterson and Group L. Wernberg from Mayo Clinic, sleeping less than 7 hours a night is associated with weight gain, diabetes, high blood pressure and depression among other health risks. In addition, when you don't get enough sleep, you may experience increased body aches and pains, reduced immune function and impaired performance at work. All of these problems can have a ripple effect on your daily habits. Yet sleeping pills prescription offers only marginal benefits and are actually ineffective since they medicate the way to sleep. Mayo Clinic says about the adverse effects of these medications, depending on the type, prescription sleeping pills may include side effects such as dizziness or lightheadedness, which may lead to falls, headaches, gastrointestinal problems such as diarrhea and nausea, prolonged drowsiness, more so with drugs that help you stay asleep, severe allergic reaction, sleep related behaviors such as driving or eating when not fully awake, daytime memory and performance problems. Moreover, though rare people who use sleeping pills may even develop parasomnias. Parasomnias are defined as sleep disorders that include behaviors like sleepwalking, sleep eating, sleep driving and other potentially dangerous sleep related activities. Fortunately, there are effective and simple habits that can help you improve your sleeping routine and ultimately get quality sleep. Maintain a routine. Our bodies need a routine so make sure you do not disturb it more than one night. Try natural supplements. Sometimes we need a little extra help Passion fruit is supposed to work great. You can either drink in tea or in capsule form. I like using ashwagandha root mixed in little water or in capsule form. You can also try magnesium supplements as this mineral helps the body to enter a relaxed state and get the needed rest during the night. And of course, you could try the classic warmed milk with honey no stimulants after 3 pm this means no coffee soda lattes green black white tea it even means no chocolate so have your desserts after lunch 
If you are really struggling with sleep, you may consider cutting off consumption at 1 p.m. or eliminating altogether. Don't go to bed stuffed or hungry. That's the worst. The gnawing stomach growl will surely keep us up as will the overstuffed feeling. While some people sleep much better with no food after 8 p.m., I personally like to have a little warmed milk before bed. Eat or don't eat as you feel works best for you. If you are battling pregnancy insomnia, you may need the calories to get through the night without waking. Avoid electronic or other artificial light within 60 to 90 minutes of bedtime. The levels of melatonin need about 60 to 90 minutes to recover from being exposed to artificial light. So avoid using any electronic devices before bedtime. Calm the mind before bed. To quiet the mind before going to sleep, find a relaxing and soothing activity at night like reading or meditation. Black out your bedroom. Melatonin, the sleep hormone, gets suppressed by the blue spectrum of light and even the smallest amount of light disrupts sleep. Therefore, your bedroom should be completely dark to get a good quality sleep. Cool down your bedroom. To make your body comfortable and relaxed in order to easily fall asleep, lower the temperature in the bedroom in order to mimic the natural temperature shift during the night. There you have it, some natural sleep remedies to help you sleep better. I would request all my viewers watching this video to do consider and try practicing the habits as informed here to get rid of sleep deprivation and protect your body and brain from the adverse effects of the same. If you find this video useful, hit that like button to give it more value and don't forget to share on your social networks so that other people can benefit from it too. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.